I want to take you on a little journey with me into my studio with my puppies, Popcorn and Zorro, and show you an exciting new collaboration that I've been working on with Creative Expressions, who not only distribute amazing uh, art and craft supplies, but also have their own laboratory and make their beautiful inks and paints. So in working with them, we have been coming out with all sorts of new fantastic formulas. That was a little sneak peek of what we've got to come, as well as a full flotilla of stamps, stencils, gorgeous washi tapes that coordinate. Oh, we've just got so much planned for you. So while I give you a better view of all of the designs in this first launch, I'm going to show you the Creative Expressions catalogue. This goes out to all of the stores so that they can see and purchase things to then offer to their lovely customers. It's a little bit of a behind the scenes look and it also illustrates why I'm collaborating with Creative Expressions and teaming up with their vast distribution network, which means my designs will be in independent stores or any beautiful stores that choose to stock them and available worldwide. Naturally, I, of course, will be stocking everything that I design in my own store. And over the last few years, I've been on a real journey of creating a lot of art supplies that are unique to my own store because they're very niche and particular to the way I create and the way I teach in my books and online workshops and in my live tutorials. And what I'm creating here is more standalone. It can stand in a store without any explanation because I'm not there to show you these things. Have, it's a, just a whole different way of designing, which I've, I've done before and absolutely love to do because this whole collection, <laughs> it's called Head Start because it completely flows into my philosophy of getting as many people to draw and paint and create as I can and offering shortcuts, head starts literally to kickstarting that to make things easier and feel um, like I keep saying the word confident but giving you that confidence to create and push through your own boundaries or if you're already a confident creative to push the envelope your creative boundaries even further in a joyfully adventurous way isn't the catalogue beautiful all these collage sheets uh, so if you do have a favorite paper craft or arts and crafts store that you love shopping at and you want these things to be stocked there so you can see them in the flesh before you purchase let them know about the collection you can direct them to this video you can direct them to the creative expressions website and they can become a stockist if they're not already so let's have a walk through the new head start stamps these are clear polymer stamps very very high quality and all of the hand-drawn details are preserved this set is called dreamy days it's three separate stamps you've got a full figure that nice little life fashionable figure a face with lovely tousled hair that's fun to add color into and that little girl with her unicorn. I remember painting the original of that in Portugal on a tile. And this is ooh, a newer version. This set is called Framed for Stamps. And they've got space to add colour and journaling. And these are all, I've hand drawn all of these. And they're remarkably versatile. I've been having a lot of fun using these myself. This next set is called Swirling Bardot. There are two faces here. One of them is quite a large stamp and the other is these two girls that are <laughs> head to head. And you could just use one or the other and just ink up one head and having the hair swirling and one face have the other swirling. 
or have them like this and it's sort of like a connectivity of thought a coming together of dreams there's lots of fun ways that you can use these stamps this set is called celebrate life there's six separate stamps and they're whimsical girls doing happy things chasing and skipping after butterflies listening to bird songs swinging on a swing giving or receiving a gift cooking a cake going to a party and having balloons just a lovely happy feeling in each of them the smooth moves stamp set has seven separate stamps on it and this reflects more of a fashion feeling very very important part of my training and life has been fashion illustration and I love the elevated feeling of these they're very versatile you've got those little faces that can be used in all sorts of ways I love the two girls sitting there uh, having a little chat just casually by the beach or maybe they're sitting in the garden uh, having a little sunbake and we've got fashionistas strutting their stuff you can add dresses and clothes and collage to all of these and that gorgeous girl with her hair flowing and all of these pictures are in my fabulous fi figures book as are the sisterhood stamp set so we have four here each one of them has well three of them have multiple women in them and these could be friends these could be family sisters aunties mothers girlfriends the whole idea is to explore that fun sense of connectivity with our friends but also that we can be happy and strong on our own and there is this one gorgeous girl sitting there just enjoying life this last stamp in this launch is called fly away two stamps one of them is really nice and large and you'll see this art is in the background also on my splash mat and she's a little bit of a signature illustration I'm so thrilled to have her as a large stamp and this second face here with the gorgeous swirling hair so much fun to color in and add extra details to so seeing as I love this uh, stamp from the flyaway set so much, let's use her as an example in showing you how to make the stamps your own. The packaging for the stamps is, we really made an effort with it to make it really gorgeous. And you can reuse the artwork on the front of the packet as collage fodder and the protective sheets that these stamps come in, keep those to store them. And my logo that's on the acetate sheets isn't a stamp. It's not on the stamps. It's just there purely so that you can always remember where you got them from. I'm applying some squid ink. This is a waterproof stamping ink. I always like to stamp in a waterproof ink. And in this nice neutral color so that I get a light impression and I can then make this my own which probably sounds a little bit strange because it is my own <laughs> already, but I'm sure you're picking up what I'm putting down. Now I'm using layer cakes from my JD HQ exclusive collection. You can find these at Jane Davenport and I'm using one of my ink brushes. I love using an empty water brush to paint with small details and I love using them with layer cakes. The bristles are very reliable. They really do keep that point and they're quite fine so I get quite a good level of control and I don't have water in it because then I just end up with a little bit too much of a mess so I'm just using it like a normal brush so I've put a little bit of skin tone down just a nice light skin tone on there I'm now using some of my candy dippers which are another exclusive to my website these are mini gel based paints so they dry like acrylic but they've got these very little fine brushes on them and i can put just very fine highlights of color they're perfect for something like this if you didn't have the candy dippers then you could use acrylic or paint pens or pencils or whatever it is that you love to use to add a little bit of color to the cheek there's tons of things I could use but I've picked some of my velvet pastels and I'm using a color called monarch I just dab a little bit of that gel based paint and then smooth it out with my finger it gives you just a nice little powdery edge that's vibrant but looks quite natural 
I've added a little bit of the black cat candy dipper on the eyes to really make them pop and bring a big bit of focus and a little bit of this sour patch green to pick up on the green splotches oh and in the background I've got sprays of gods and monsters inks just randomly in the little Alice journal which is a watercolor paper I've just applied some Ariel in my watercolors from the hmm, glitzy set and a little bit of the joyful gesso in that gorgeous glimmering gold now we've got the magic wand colored pencils in the new skincare collection I'm just adding a little bit of depth into the socket above the eye with some of the darker shades and her face is starting to have a little bit of dimension and I just felt like using power pastels which are just beautiful oil and wax crayons to add a little flourish of color and bringing in a little bit of paint with the candy dipper in the blue in the eyes to match that uh, pastel that I've added now I wanted the, the face to block out a little bit more of the pink paint the pink ink rather that is in there behind it so the palette pastels are a wonderful way of knocking back and mattifying the surface because of the very 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 fine 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 way and these are made and how hard they're pressed when you apply them with the batten blenders yes of course you can use a fixative I very often completely forget to and yes if you rubbed it you might get a little bit of uh, the pastel coming off but very often I just just let it sit there it's totally fine I'm using batten blenders and to add some mm, sharpen up a few of those details I'm using black finishing line pens and look I know I'm using a whole ton of things you don't need to use a ton of things uh, you use whatever you have it's just that I am an unrepenting art supply addict I love art supplies so much I teach about how to use them I write books about them and I create them I think about them all day and all night they just make me deliriously happy and I have storage in front of me that places everything that I've designed of course that just places everything so I can see it and that is why you just always see me using so many different things it's just my personal preference but of course you do you and you if you just love using a few things a few favorites and that is fabulous but you might be like me and just love using everything <laughs> that you have because everything is different everything is different and then everything is different depending on how you feel that day and then everything is different depending what you use to apply it different brushes makes the art supply behave differently the paper makes things different I just I could talk about this stuff underwater now on the left hand side of the page I think we've got some space there and we could add a sentiment and I've actually created this whole piece uh, while uh, I've been having a creative challenge in one of my groups called Alice in April so this is a bit of an Alice on the side so I think this stamp I think this is very uh, Queen of Hearts and I think we can a little bit Alice in Wonderland ish now I'm using some black licorice layer cake again with my water brush to really deepen up that stamp now I'm working on watercolor paper it's all uneven I've got all sorts of weird inks and whatnot underneath nothing is going to sit flat so I don't even try and get a good stamping impression because it's literally impossible <laughs> own your quirks and not being able to stamp is one of mine but that doesn't stop me from loving them and enjoying them and this is how I like to use them I like to make them my own I like to change them up create over the top of them you can't even tell it's a stamp anymore but of course you can just use it like a normal stamp too these are just one part of a fabulous ongoing collection and collaboration of which there's just so much fun to come everything's designed to make creating more joyful so just as we started so we shall finish I shall say goodbye from little Zorro and myself and I uh, hope you have a wonderful day and go and do something creative please <laughs>
Is that a bit? Or worse? We'll find out in a second, I guess. <laughs> you cutie!